Hello, it's Miss Julie from Miss Julie's Virtual Preschool and Crafts. I'm here today on June 21st to celebrate a fun day on the calendar with you. But before we get started, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below so you can see all the videos I've created just for you. All right, so today's special day on the calendar is celebrate National Arizona Day. Yes, you heard that right. Let's celebrate Arizona. All right, so if you haven't ever been to Arizona, or if you don't live there, then this is a great way to learn about a new place. So I have some facts about Arizona, and then I have a coloring page that shows the flag and some items that you can color with me. All right, so National Arizona Day is celebrated every June 21st. The state Arizona is known as the Grand Canyon State. That is one of their major, major um, national parks. It's Grand Canyon National Park. And the state is well known for it. So their title is the Grand Canyon State. The largest city in Arizona is Phoenix. Phoenix, Arizona is the largest city with the biggest population. You like birds when you go visit Arizona you better be on the lookout for the cactus wren the cactus wren is the most popular bird in Arizona so maybe you should look around at the cactuses because its name is cactus wren they like the smell of the cactuses the state flower which you could find also at the national parks in other areas it's called the cactus blossom so they're the little flowers that blossom on the cactus. Sometimes they're not blossoms, sometimes they are. You can be on the lookout for them. And then a big fact about Arizona is it is home to 22 national parks and monuments. 22. That is a lot of different monuments and parks to go visit in the state of Arizona. So if you haven't visited Arizona, you can go and check out some of these places and things out in nature and I bet you'll find them beautiful. All right, I have a coloring page so I'm going to do this with you but first I'm going to show it to you. Okay, so it shows the flag of Arizona. It shows um, the state reptile. Oh, we did not say that yet. It's called the ridge nose rattlesnake. Ooh, I hope you're not afraid of snakes. And then this is the state flower, the cactus blossom. It's got a white flower with a yellow center, it says. And then they're usually on the cactuses, the green cactuses. And then it says the capital is Phoenix. We said that. And the bird is the cactus red. All right, now I'm going to color the flag first and show you what a flag looks like. And then you can do one too. So you'll need the colors red, yellow, and blue. And if you have a gold color, the star in the middle is gold. So the bottom half of the flag is um, blue. So I'm gonna, this part is blue, okay? So I'm gonna color that, and then I'll show you how the red and the yellow go on the flag. And it's a dark blue like a regular royal blue color on our flag. Now, I didn't know if you knew, but every state has a state flag besides the red, white, and blue one for the United States. We have different state flags. Some have plants on them, some have animals on them, some show the land of the state, some show different colors like this one they chose red and yellow and blue on their state flag and the symbol this one has a star some other states have different things different letters so if you're interested in learning about the different state flags you could definitely go on google and you can look up all the different flags and what they look like and you can print them out and you can have a flag from all the states. And when we celebrate the different days 
on the calendar that celebrate the different states, you will have a flag for that state. And this one just happens to be Arizona. All right, so the, the star in the middle is um, gold. So I'm gonna use my, I'm just gonna use my yellow. Oh, I did find a gold, gold crayon. Okay, I have a gold crayon. I'm gonna color my my um, star in the middle gold. There's gold. And then the red and the yellow, um, you alternate. So I'm gonna go red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow, red, yellow. I'm gonna color in all my red spots. You can easily paint this if you enjoy painting or use colored pencils. I just happen to have my crayons nearby. And so I chose to do crayons today. And if you wanna learn some other facts about the state of Arizona, you can go onto the website and they even have a kids section where there'll be some other places to visit in Arizona just for kids and other facts. There may be some other fun places to visit besides the national parks. So they have stripes on their flag, just like the United States does, but their stripes are red and yellow. That makes it different. And then there's the snake on here. Now, to get the accurate colors of the snake, you'll have to look up the picture of the ridge nose rattlesnake to see if he's brown, green, white. Um, that might take a little bit of um, investigating to hunt down what the picture of the rattlesnake looks like. But for now, you can color any color you choose to. And then the flowers, the cactus um, blossoms, says it's a white flower with a yellow center. So I can use that yellow that I was using and I can color the center yellow. And then the cactus itself, I'm going to color green. I'm gonna actually use the brown. I'm gonna find a brown crayon to do the um, snake, the rattlesnake. But I have a feeling that the rattlesnake is going to be a little bit brown. Brown and black probably. And he can, um, but you never know because Arizona is the desert. So there might be some light brown or tan so he can blend into the surroundings or maybe even green because he can blend into the cactuses. So I'm not gonna do the whole thing brown. I don't think he's gonna be all brown. I have a black, I'll put a little bit of black on my rattlesnake and then I will be done. I'm gonna put a little bit of black on my rattlesnake. Now, if you wanna learn more about Arizona, you can look up other videos or check out books from your library. Because especially if you've never traveled there or if you're looking to go to a new place, maybe this will give you some ideas if you want to travel to Arizona before you visit. And always good to learn new facts. All right, I'm done with my Arizona picture. I hope you enjoyed this holiday for today of June 21st. And we'll come back again soon for Miss Julie Virtual Preschool and Crafts. Thanks.